Tonight, over 5,000 British men are playing a secret game. They've developed a magic sequence of tricks, codes and routines that they claim any man can use to seduce any woman. It's really funny because before I get to know someone deep inside, I've got this like free criteria. I don't like girls that wear too much makeup. I worry I wear too much. Do you? There's a little test. If you put a little kiss here and it leaves a lipstick mark, then you're obviously wearing too much. Okay. Did it leave a mark? No. No? So you're not wearing that much, are you? High That's five for that. I love girls with great smelling hair. <laughs> it's mediocre. Really important that girls have good taste in shoes. I love these shoes. Because good shoes indicate good taste in underwear. <laughs> do they now? Well, what do you reckon? Well, I do have a good taste in underwear. She's trying to prove herself to you. You're being cocky and funny. You know, it's a super-powered routine. She's let me play with her shoes. She's let me smell her hair, fondle her neck. What else are you going to let me do? I've spent the last six months inside the hidden world of the pickup artist, an underground network of men that has tens of thousands of followers the world over. I wanted to get under the skin of this community and find out more about the men who are drawn to it. I first heard about I Am The Future in a chat room. He's been a PUA or pickup artist for seven years. This is future. We need to talk man to man. He was the first person to put videos of his seduction techniques on the internet. His real name is Darren. He lives in a suburb of London, and he's a hardcore devotee of the game. Didn't go uni, dropped out of college to do this, spent my tuition fee on seminars and materials so I could get good. Have you ever had a job? <laughs> no. You know, I don't work, because all I care about is doing this. The whole game just took over my life, basically. I kind of wanted to sort this out more than a job. I go out every single night. Darren claims that being successful with women is something that can be learned. I have my doubts, so he offers to demonstrate his superpowers on a random passerby. All right, gangster, what's happening? All right. You learn how attraction works, how girls get attracted to a guy. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, what do you reckon? And you start developing those traits. You start becoming that attractive guy through the things you say and the things you do. I'm the best kisser in the world. It's like the biggest addiction there is. I mean, who isn't going to get addicted to being able to be with a, a lot of women and the women that you choose? That's a powerful thing to have. I'm not really sure how he does it, but he walks away with the girl. Oh, my pants keep falling down. How many girls have you slept with? I'm not actually 100% sure on the number. 50? No comment. 75? No comment. It is less than 100. It is less than 100. Do you ever lie to girls? I try never ever to lie to girls. I, I don't think it's a good idea. However, people lie every day. Darren has sunk every penny he has into seduction seminars and PUA boot camps, and I want to see exactly what he's spending his money on. PUATraining.com runs courses ranging from £500 to £2,500. Uh, Richard, I'm extremely self-conscious, because when I was younger I used to weigh like 17 stone. OK. My name's Andy. Um, and, uh, and growing up I was kind of the, uh, the, the geek, you know. All right, guys. My name's Gareth, 22 years old. I live in Watford. I'm Bexter. I'm Ian. Nice to meet you, Ian. When I was at school, I was bullied pretty much the whole way through and maybe one or two friends and that was about it. So I wasn't very social at all. Um... Ian, a 21-year-old computer programmer, seems particularly entranced with it all. Before the students hit the streets to practice on girls, they work on maintaining eye contact.
Um, you want me to be honest? You kept looking at my breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you go into set, yeah. pull your chest back and project your voice. Okay. Yeah. If they're going to blow you out, at least make sure they can hear what you're saying. I like this girl. She can stay. <laughs> she can stay here. As most of the students ease themselves into the training, Ian is really struggling. Something else. There's a hot blonde by Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> Commit yourself. Just walk. Don't think. Just walk and just do it and take it. Yeah. Yeah. We need you to pull that trigger. Yeah. yeah. I want you to crash the car. Yeah. yeah. Do you know why? Because you'll never know how fast you can ever go. Hey guys. Hi there. Me and my friend here are going to go see Chuck and Larry. Okay. But what kind of flavour ice cream would you recommend to complement the film? <laughs> In an entire afternoon, he only manages to speak to one woman, and that's about ice cream. He's crashing the car, all right. And I want to know why. I go back to Ian's house in Romford. You're close with your parents, Ian? I was with my stepdad, but he died of a heart attack a couple of years ago. And he was probably like my best friend when I was growing up. Have you ever had a girlfriend? No. Have you ever had sex? No. Do you want to have sex with lots of women, or do you want to find the girl, the special one? Ultimately, yes. I want a girlfriend rather than, like, lots of casual sex. Ian seems lonely, and he's in good company. I'm starting to realise that PUA spend a lot of time in their bedrooms. I'm contacted by AFC Adam, the rising star of the UK scene. He promises to take me further into this world than any other pickup artist. Yeah, this is good. This is how, um, how I first sort of got known in the community, really. We're stopping people in the street and, as you can see, you know, asking them to marry us. The idea is that you rush a relationship so fast because you get right through to marriage that they're automatically getting comfort with you. And here, within about a minute of knowing her, you can turn it into, um, into a kiss. But it works. And it's the principles of why it works I started to get interested in. Why can, can you kiss a girl within a minute of meeting her? This is a new one. You go straight in, leading and dominance. Pull away, this is push-pull, physical, physical push-pull. Um, and then you can just make the whole thing incredibly sexual. So can we see you do some of it? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Just say when. When? OK. Is that? I'm getting dressed first, though. Just look like crap. Adam tells me that he can get any girl's contact details in less than five minutes. Any time, any place, anywhere. This is something I have to see. Excuse me, I'm sorry to, sorry to bug you. Is there like Starbucks or something around here um, somewhere? I'm not sure I made my way up to the second. So oh, okay, so Oh, you lost as well? Uh, not really. <laughs> I don't know what direction I'm going. Okay, fab. So I'm Adam, by the way. Hi, Elise. Well, nice to meet you. Anyway, nice, yeah, to, nice to meet you. Yeah. How do you say your name? E. E L I C. Next. <laughs> <laughs>